Welcome, it's Howard from HDS Electrical and today we're discussing breaking down prices. Now I watched a video from Thomas N, Thomas Nagy, um, on where he discussed breaking down prices and how he didn't break down prices, the price was the price. And I get that, I respect that. And I respect his choices completely. You gotta run your business how you want, as long as it works for you and you're making it work, all good, all power to you. However, I wanted to share the flip side. So, begrudgingly, we do break down prices. My big prices are very clear. Rewires, I've got broken down item by item. There's a reason for that that we're gonna do in another video called Protecting Yourself with a Quote. Fantastic video actually, really. The quote is essentially there to protect you as much as it is to give them information. So, but we're gonna go through that. But I wanted to talk you through breaking down quotes. So we've had four jobs in the last month that have asked me to break down the price. And all four times I've been uh, resistant. I don't wanna break down the price. The price is what it is. You're gonna haggle me. You're gonna take stuff off, you're gonna to offer to supply the materials, which we very seldom allow, because I don't wanna fit cheap shit, quite frankly. Or, you know, any number of problems with breaking down the price. However, begrudgingly, I broke down all four of these prices. One took me about 10 minutes, one took me about 20 minutes going through line by line, one took me 30 minutes, and one took me about half an hour as well. All sent off. I discussed it with Lorraine in the office. She's like, just do it. You've spent all the time getting this far. You've gone out and seen them, spent all the time doing that. Actually, they're just being diligent. These people just want a diligent, clever, clear picture of what they're getting, what it costs. Maybe they do want to break down prices to negotiate. Maybe they do want to provide their own, but they're just being clever. They're being smart with their money. They're being confident in your, your prices, your ability to do it. And begrudgingly, I did it as we often have done over the years and it never feels easier for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's this kind of frenzy we've worked up in the trade of we don't break down our prices but we did it. Three of the jobs accepted off the bat, no changes. The fourth job, just wanted, we had a external socket, the other side of the garden, so we're wiring to put a whisker box, whisker nut onto earth it, run the cable along, socket over there for a pull. They just said, no, that's too expensive, we'll remove that. That was about 10% of the quote, if that. Simple, and actually I did that and removed it. I misunderstood what he said. He just wanted the socket on the back wall. So I said, yeah, no problem, we'll reinstate it. Put half, well not quite half, but put a chunk back on just for drilling outside, putting a socket on. So the fourth one got accepted as well without little change. All four were happy. And kind of the thing I'm getting at is, A, they're just being smart with their money, you know, that's just common sense really, in a way, you should be smart with your money unless you've got a lot of trust in someone or a lot of reason to trust someone or a service. B, you've spent all the time and effort, why not close it off? So you've driven over there maybe 20 minutes, you spent an hour with the client, you've driven back maybe 20 minutes, so there's an hour and 40 minutes. Let's say you spent 40 minutes doing the quote, so that's two hours, 20 minutes, let's say it, Roughly, you spent 10 minutes calling them, answering emails. That's two and a half hours you've spent on one of those quotes, if it's a larger quote, potentially. Why are you not going to spend another 20 minutes breaking it down if it's got a chance of getting you the job? Or you could just lose those two and a half hours. Just walk away. Say, no, we don't break down the price. You're going to piss them off. You're going to put them on the back foot. Maybe they will use you. I'm sure some will, but some are gonna be like, oh, he can't even be bothered to do that. Oh, what's he hiding? You gotta think about it from a customer's point of view. What's he hiding? What doesn't he want me to see? Why won't he break it down? You know, it's why. The question is why? And why wouldn't you, in my opinion? You know, it's right. Why wouldn't you spend all that time? You've invested all that time. Close it off, get the job. If they come back and say, I want to negotiate on this, 
no, I'm sorry, that price is that price. We could change something or remove it. If it doesn't fit within your budget, that's fine. They want to provide materials, depends what it is, how it is. You can either say yes, or you can just say, no, I'm very sorry. We like to provide our own stuff because we know we fit quality. We know we can rely on it. We know we have a low failure rate. Or you could say, yes, I'm happy to fit your stuff. However, if any of it goes faulty, get this in writing in an email, you would need to pay for my time to come back to repair or replace it because you have supplied it. Jobs are good and simple, so why not break down your price?